What's up guys and welcome to George Define. On this channel we we am what do we do on this channel? right we do some backpack reviews men's everyday carry and a little bit of hunting and fishing if you're into that kind of thing please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video now let's get to the bag all right guys this is the Arteric Aero 22 and let's talk about who this bag is for this is an everyday carry style bag that 22 liters hits right there in the perfect carry size for somebody that just wants to take this for a day trip or take it into the office. This is a great looking backpack made out of some high quality materials. Now, I don't do a lot of Arteric stuff because they're so expensive. And when I first ordered this bag, I was like, man, is it really worth that 160, that 200 bucks? And I was like, man, I don't know about this Arteric stuff. But after putting it in my hand, I can vouch and say that they use top quality materials. And that's what probably drives the price up on this bag. So let's run down the specs on this bag. This bag is 23 inches tall. It's actually 17 inches wide at the widest point, And it's actually five inches in depth. It's super light at 1.5 pounds. Arteric says this bag can take a 15 inch laptop and it's made out of a, some super heavy duty 1260D Invisa Ballistic Super Pack Nylon. Actually, this is some of the best material I've felt on a backpack thus far, and I was really impressed about the materials. Now let's run down this bag from the bottom to the top. So if we start here down at the bottom, we can see we got that super heavy duty 1260D ballistic nylon down here at the bottom. It gives you some really tough durability. I know this bag will last a long time. Moving up the bag, you got this gear loop right here where you can attach a carabiner and any other things that you might want to carry throughout your day. What's really noticeable about this bag is this AquaGuard YKK zipper right here in the front. And it just splits the middle of the bag. And this is like your quick access pocket where you want to put your stuff for the day. Right here in the front, you have some Arcteric branding. It's very subdued and you can hardly see it on the bag in this black color. Up here at the top, Arcteric includes this really weird looking YKK zipper. It has a huge thumb pull on it. So you definitely have some easy use getting in inside and out of the bag. It also includes a zipper garage to ensure that water won't leak into the bag if you get caught in a deluge. Let's flip this bag to the side and check out the water bottle pockets. Actually, Arteric includes one water bottle pocket and another quick access pocket on the side. So on this side, you got the quick access pocket and it has some Velcro to hold any of your stuff that you throw in. Right here, I just have a little microfiber cloth that I stuck in there. And this is a really odd, odd pocket. The design of it is almost like a triangle. Um, and I've really never seen this on a bag. If I flip it over to the other side, you can see how the water bottle pocket is designed the same way. And I would say that this design is not the greatest at all because I have my 27 ounce clean canteen right here. And you can see that there's a lot of play in this bag. So if you were running or walking really fast, get set this bag down, you could definitely knock out this water bottle and it would just come out. It's really loose fitting and I'm not a real fan of this water bottle pocket style. Let's flip this bag around to the back and check out the shoulder straps. Right here is where Arteric really goes above and beyond with these shoulder straps. The feeling of them is very, very comfortable on your shoulders and I like the design. 
They're the proper width for a bag of this size, and I don't think they could do the shoulder straps any better. At the top of the bag, you do have some load lifters, so you can pull them and take the weight of the bag and bring it closer to your back. On the shoulder strap, you do have a spot where you can run down your hydration bladder hose and attach it to the shoulder strap itself. It does come with a sternum strap, which is on a ladder system. And this is an odd type of ladder system. I've never really seen it where you actually have to pull out this small little piece of plastic and then you can move it up and down this ladder system. Very inventive, but over time, I don't know how that well that would hold up. Down here at the bottom, Arteric does include a hip belt, small little hip belt, about an inch wide, and they do put some Arteric branding on the hip belt buckle. And for a bag of 22 liters, I really wouldn't be weighing it down, so I would need a hip belt, but it's, I'm glad they included it, but it's like, I don't really need it. Let's check out this back panel. Arteric has pressed in their logo into some injected molded foam. The cushion itself feels pretty good. It's kind of thin actually. For a 22 liter pack, I think it will be just fine for a day of use. Right here at the top, Arteric includes a grab handle and it's kind of thin and kind of small. So for my big hands, it doesn't give me the best purchase over the bag and I can only really slip in three fingers into this grab handle. And if you notice, it's actually offset on the top of the bag. It sits over to the right some because on the left, they have the port for your hydration. And this is a really interesting thing they did in this hydration port because it's got a button over the hydration port so that water won't seep in if you're caught in the rain. I've never really seen this on a pack before. Usually for a hydration port, they just leave it open, but I'm glad Arteric took the extra step and put a button over the port itself. And you can see where that 160 is spent or 200 for this particular pack. All right, let's get into this pack. Let's get to the good stuff. Let's check out this front access pocket. Now, all of the zippers on this bag are YKK. I wouldn't expect anything less on a bag of this price. And all of the, in addition to all of the zippers being YKK, they also are Aqua Guard zippers. So you can be ensure that no water will get into this bag if you're caught in the rain. Let's get into this front quick access pocket right here. So you just zip it down, and now you can kind of, it kind of Superman opens in the front. And in here, I have my electronic organizer pouch right here. And I have some uh, disinfectant wipes, a Word notebook, and Arteric includes at the top here a key keeper where I put in my junkie keys. Now, there's no other organization in this quick access pocket, and I really feel like it should be for this price where they should have some pen holders, some spots where you could put a cell phone, something inside of this quick access pocket. It really would have stepped this bag up and made it something that I would have liked a little bit better. Now the materials are great, but the organization in this bag as we go on, we'll see is kind of lacking. Let's get into this main compartment and let's check it out. Again, Aqua Guard zippers all the way around, Arteric, includes these uh, the big YKK zippers right here. And I think these are number eight zippers. They're not number 10. Again, in this main compartment, it's very limited organization, but let's check out what I put in here. I got my uh, little adventure medical kit right here for one person. And I also stuck in my headphones. I've switched up headphones. These are the Sony here on twos, noise canceling headphones, they're awesome. And I'll do a little review on these a little later. In this main compartment right here, you have one pocket where you can stick in a 100 ounce um, hydration bladder. And that's really all that's in here. I would have liked to see some type of spot for your laptop. Arteric says this will fit a 15 inch laptop, but I'm not gonna put my laptop in here with no sleeve at all, and it's gonna hit the bottom of this bag because it's sitting right here on the bottom. So 
definitely a place where Arteric needs to step up their game far as organization if they're going to charge premium prices. Yes, I understand you're using top quality materials, but you can't slack on the organization because that's going to stir people away from buying your expensive bag. So I was looking all over this bag to see if I missed something, and I really didn't. It has two pockets, one quick access pocket right here in the front, and then another main section in the back. One water bottle pocket, and a little quick access pocket on this side. That's really it. I don't know if this would suit anyone out there, but for me, this is a pass. Arteric needs to step up their design. Yes, you're using top quality materials like I've said before, and I'll say it again, you're using top quality materials, Arteric, and we know that, but you need to improve the design and the functionality as well. People that use everyday carry packs like this one, 22 liters, they want places where they can stick their everyday carry items, like their power bank. You might wanna carry a knife, you might wanna carry a flashlight, and you don't want that stuff just kind of flopping around in your bag. So for our Tarek, I gotta give you an A for materials and an F for design and functionality. Hey guys, thanks for watching George Define. Y'all know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you love the video. Subscribe if you didn't love the video because I'm coming back with some more backpacks. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you never miss out on any of my adventures or reviews. See you next time. Peace.